Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today we'll be opening up one of the spin-off series from the Ikimono Daizukan or um, specifically I guess the Ikimono Daizukan Advance line, um, the Advance being more expensive than the normal 500 yen roll. Um, this time it is the Amagairu or the Japanese Tree Frog. So yeah, um, I already took off the plastic here and I kind of opened it up already just to play with around with it, but haven't had got... Um, haven't had time to really um, do a review on it, so sorry about that, but this should be encased in plastic. Um, first off, as you guys can see, the rock here is kind of just like a light gray. There are actually two types, a light gray and a darker gray. Um, darker gray will get you a green frog, and this lighter gray one, or maybe this is the dark gray and the lighter gray, I can't remember. Um, there's just two types of grays, and the other one is this one, um, which gets you a spotted brown one or a blue one, non-spotted blue or the other variant is a green or spotted green so yeah so this time this one is the advanced line so it's more than 500 this one was um a thousand yen and maybe you guys can already tell but it is very small so yeah but this is a nice tree fox so just to open them up um i already did actually open them up and taken them out so this is why it's cut already so sorry about that busters but um i put it back in but as you can see you only get you get a mouthpiece and the little frog so take him out like so and when you do it you just remove this side piece here and uh i didn't actually notice this until later but as you can see on the two pieces of the rock there is one part here that has a circle that's a slight weight um just to help you keep it weighted down so the frog goes up here so kind of like that so if you can see it it always just stays the same I mean, you could do it the other way, I guess. So, you know, I think it depends on what you want. If you want it spinning, or maybe the weight goes on the other side, because this way it prevents it from spinning. So maybe it's this way. I don't really know, but there is a weighted area. And of course, it comes with the little instruction booklet, which actually should probably tell you which way it goes. Um, so as you can see, it's the Nihon Amai Gai Gairu, or the Japanese tree frog. Um, this is the Ikimono Daisukan Advanced line, so that's why it's more expensive. And you have the four line up of one, green tree frog, two, tree frog um, spotted green. Um, let me just zoom in for you guys there. So, and this time we got this one, the dirt colored one, the brown, um, yeah, brown um, tree frog. And then there's a blue tree frog. So the blue is really nice. I kind of wanted that one. However, you know, the spotted, but when I looked at them, like without spot, it looks kind of fake. But it does look quite nice, so I was happy to get either one of these. Um, but if you want to check out how they look in color, um, please check down in the description below to see how it works. But yeah, basically all you get is the frog and a, I guess the croaking parts here for the boys. For when it's croaking, you're able to, I guess, recreate that scene. And let's see, Kinzoku plate nai parts ga Okay, so yeah, so I said the metal part does go at the top. And then you can have the frog up there. Unless, hmm, I don't think so. I doubt it. They said put the weighted out here. I don't think there's a magnet or anything, right? Interesting. It does feel slightly magnetic-y. Hmm? Wait a minute, Busters. Oh, yes, Busters. Okay, I didn't notice this. But it is slightly magnetic to help you keep the frog on. So cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> I did not know that. Um, I'm glad I did that. So yeah. Uh, so that's cool. I did not know that. That's really cool because I do know um, in some of the... So like here, they did kind of show it off. You're able to put it on like um, walls. I thought maybe the hands were kind of like a like a soft plastic so it can stick on but it is magnetic so you are able to just like put it on stuff interesting so um i'll try to see if i can get like a little magnetic board to show it off in a bit but yeah so first off um just to go over the frog itself so i got the brown one as you can see really nice spotted dots on it and just the textured on the back you guys can see little grooves there textured wise so as you can see, uh, the reflection from the paint, it is slightly glossy with clear hand and leg parts. Um, articulation wise, 
it's got one here 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 you're able to so this one is just on a hinge here and this one is on a hinge and ball joint so you're able to like that and this one is on a ball joint hinge or some sort uh, I think it's a double ball joint so and the leg itself is so yep <laughs> how am I supposed to okay like this and then just rotate it back the arms is just a simple one here um, it does on mine it falls off a little bit so uh, this one here is just on a peg joint there and the leg is able to go about this much so on mine is not too much articulation and the hands go up and down ah uh, yes they go up and down so they're able to get some sitting sitting and you just kind of magnet him Ooh, let's have his arms like that and he's able to stick on his little rock like that there you go so i am um maybe you guys can hear my voice i am really happy about the magnet part to know that so yeah and then the mouth here is able to open crock 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 like that and um, originally I thought you had to remove this part but actually um, like here if you push his head up it'll reveal this little peg joint here which is where this croaking part goes so you just put all you do is just lift this reveal it up and then here there's a little peg there you just peg it in like so and now he's able to croak and find a mate or croak because he croaks or because you just want him to look kind of creepy like a grandpa frog <laughs> so yeah but honestly i don't think many people will be using that but however it is a nice oops <laughs> removed the whole thing so i guess that's what it looks like Just put this back here and we'll pretend we never saw that happen <laughs> but yeah it is a nice part for that they included um that's basically it so yeah as you can see the, oh no nope, dead frog but yeah that's basically it busters there's not much to him you know he is a very small guy great art uh great detail um just let me show off some of the eye parts so as you can see the eye coloring on it it's not just yellow they put like these little black dots and stuff around them um so so here at the top um that's not actually painted white that's just the reflection of the light on the top so but yeah very very nice so even the belly is textured and all that so um yeah so size why it is very small so um just to show off the size comparison um, here he is next to a generic Digimon card. Uh, There's a Digimon card. It's um, generic Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. Um, what is it? Bicycle Casino trading card. I think it should be 8x8x6.6. Eight eight six. So yeah, um, with the rock. You know, with the rock, he's about just standing up just over. So just under 7, you know. With the wise, he'll be about just pass so maybe um also just about seven uh if we remove the rock however he is if you stand up like this however if you would like to flatten him say maybe you're ordering him when a friend just wants you to ship him you know with a bit of bubble wrap he is quite thin like 6.6 .6, this may be like two centimeters 2.5 you know like you could fit two of them on one of these uh just generic card size so he is a very small guy very very small um comparing him with other things from the line um same species the giant bull frog i think i can't remember what kind of frog this was it's been a while since i did any reviews sorry busters but yeah so he is like basically it, like with the rock he's the same size as the old frog 
you know. However, this guy was um, 2,000 yen or 1,500 yen, and this is only 1,000 only, but it is very small. So definitely a very small guy. Um, you know what? Let's. So there he is. There, there he is with no rock. Um, comparing him with something else, maybe uh, I guess maybe one of the smaller crabs, I guess the soft shell crab or something. He's about the size of the rock, so size right there. Um, sorry, Busters, I don't have my beetles out right now. Um, I recently actually just moved apartments, um, finally bought my own place, so figuring out how to um, what is it display it. So that's kind of one reason why I haven't been doing videos recently. Um, excuses really um, but yeah uh, here he is next to a peacock spider much bigger so this guy's only 500 yen you know um, I guess you could kind of see like well these guys have good paint apps like on the spider itself you know um, this one is just a much more natural gradient so yeah uh, so that's about it you know not much else you know size wise he is what he is so let me just put it back on his little magnetic thing. So yeah, maybe give him like a, yeah, get me guys. I'm a great buy. So there he is, Busters. Um, that's basically it for this review. There's honestly not much else to say about this guy, except my paint app is off. But yeah, um, honestly, it, it's really nice. Um, so I guess my final comments on him would be um, definitely for 1,000 yen, he is definitely very small. There's no denying that aspect of it. He is a very small figure, you know, price-wise. Um, he is, I guess you could kind of say expensive, almost. However, he does look quite nice. And with, I'm really happy they included, they designed him the way that they did with like the magnet and the rock, you know. I, I'd almost say like this rock, while the other ones have a display base, I would almost say this rock is part of the figure. You just need it together. You know, so it is very, very nice. Um, you know, I can't, there's not much else I can say about him. Um, for a thousand yen, definitely a bit more on the pricey side, size wise. Um, the paint app is great, articulation's good. The fact that they kind of put in like a small magnet helps, you know, and they included this, um, the croaking part, which is a nice touch. Not for everyone, I guess, but definitely just nice thing to have, you know, to uh, recreate certain scenes. So, but yeah, um, Definitely recommend it for people who are into frogs, you know, of the frogs. This is definitely cuter than that bullfrog one I got, you know. Definitely really cute, you know. If you just close the mouth, he's kind of cute too, like that, you know. Kind of like that. Um, You know, uh, as a frog figure, I don't know how many frogs you have access to. So I think for 10 bucks, you know, there's a great catch. I say 10 bucks, but now that the yen has plummeted, it's definitely cheaper. So a great bargain, I guess now that's time to get it um but honestly yeah um can i recommend it definitely for people like me who just like collecting different molds or different species or just want a nice figure um if you're into frogs i definitely recommend it even though it is a thousand yen um i think at least for this one i'm not sure how the other ones look like for example the blue might look a bit fake but at least for this brown one the just the, the way it gradients off into a, the belly is really nice re, just quite realistic honestly you know so paint app wise for this brown one i think is superb which might be where some of the money cost goes um so yeah i definitely think it is worth the thousand yen in that aspect i just kind of wish it was a little bit bigger you know uh, but maybe the tree frogs are tiny little frogs i'm not quite sure i think they are actually so this might actually be quite realistic size wise so there is that so honestly the um like with any of these ik ikimono daizukan lines um they do go to great lengths to make it as accurate and as realistic as possible so it's all i can always highly recommend these figures um the only thing i have against it is definitely only the size but that in itself could be a selling point to some. But yeah, um, I'd, I'd say if you're on the fence, I'd say get it. It's, all, it's only $10, 1,000 yen. You know, definitely for a capsule toy, I guess you could say, yeah, it's pretty expensive. However, nowadays, um, people wouldn't even consider capsule toys like the traditional sense that it's one of those like small cheap toys, but almost like a small collectible, you know, kind of like how Pokemon cards are now like investments. 
um, these capsule toys are now more uh, recently, especially in Japan too. Um, a lot more companies have been designing, making more things expensive, but targeting more uh, uh, adults who have more expendable income. So there's definitely that. The only people I guess I wouldn't recommend this to would be um, people who are, don't like frogs. Um, it is a bit realistic, so that might freak them out. And I guess maybe those who just mm, would prefer a bigger size. Honestly, the only thing against it, against this thing is the size. So outside of that, it's I do think compared to some of the other stuff I've gotten before, I think it's definitely really good. Like honestly, even um, this bullfrog, which is pretty cool, but for two thousand yen, I'd almost say I would rather rather have just get two of these and kind of display them. I, actually, honestly, if you had um, all four of these, I think it would look really nice, all on frogs, you know. Um, just unlike this guy, like this one, it's nice and cute. You can have them like at your as a desktop piece at your work um, in front of your monitor, you know, in front. Um, even if you have like a nice sink, you know, just kind of put him there to give it a more nature feel. So definitely highly recommend this guy, um, surprisingly. Um, it's despite its small size, I'm actually the more I talk about it, the more I do feel like it is quite worth the thousand yen. But um, that's about it, Busters. Not much else to say. Um, for those who've stuck around long enough to get to this point to listen to me um, yammer on and on, uh, I do want to apologize for, I think, like a month, two, maybe even three months of no activity. Um, I said it before, I've recently just moved to a new apartment, so I've been kind of busy. Um, so I've just been busy moving. Um, uh, not so much as in like moving stuff also unpacking and stuff but also I didn't pay um, a moving company I just drove it myself back and forth so it has been I've been doing it a quite a long time so just been that but also um there hasn't been much um, releases in terms of capsule toys for the Ikimono Daizukan line so there was a bit of a dry spell there um, as, at least for the normal line um, the advanced line however they have had some releases um, they had a what is it? Uh, grasshopper, uh, as well as a ladybug. Those were in the advanced line. I wasn't quite sure about getting either of those. The ladybug looked a bit simple, but I might pull the trigger on that. Although I kind of missed out on the grasshopper, so I'm kind of bummed about that. So I might just pick one up second hand. So yeah, um, but that's about it, Buster. So, but uh, and later this month they are releasing more beetles as well as another set of um, kamikitis, uh, praying mantises. So. Uh, do look forward to that. And um, as I'm unpacking, I do have lots of other capsule toy collections I have. So I might finally just uh, start making videos and just showing those off too as well. Um, unfortunately, the stuff I have already, you can't quite get anymore. Second hand, um, new at least, you'll have to get it second hand. So just a quick apologies there if I make you guys uh, suddenly want to get in it. So hold on, Busters. But yeah, sorry about that, Buster's um, video call, uh, intercom. But yeah, basically, um, I'll definitely have more videos coming uh, later this month, or it's almost the end of the month, so I guess in a couple, uh, the next week or so. So you'll definitely have something to look forward to, guys, Buster's, if you were kind of in a dry spell for capsule toys, at least from my channel. So as always, thanks for watching, and I greatly appreciate it. And hopefully my video helped you determine um, whether you want to get this or not, whether you're on the fence about it, hopefully this answered some questions or comments you had about it. And that's about it. As always, Busters, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again on my next Capsule Toy video. As always, this is Buster Quinn here. Off, because he's a little buster. <laughs>